Cyberox. What is this? Oh yeah, CD drive. That's kind of interesting. It's not what it looks like. I did not rip a computer apart and took out its internal organs. All right. So today, what we are going to be talking about is. I just had the word emergency programming. So, what is emergency programming? Well, one, it's not real. Um, it's something I made up. You know, but it'd be it'd be kind of interesting to go around to your friends and say, "Hey, you know how to emergency program?" No. Well, check this video out. Because <laughs> not only will that get any publicity, but it gives me publicity. All right, but however, emergency programming is a I guess you could say a series, a uh, new type of series that I'm going to be doing within CyberOx. Um, so basically this is just a startup, what all you're going to need, how to go about this, and some other stuff as well. Uh, we are not going to per se get into the code now. That will be next video, I promise. And uh, so let's go and get down to it. Um, Emergency programming is something I came up with. It's unique, and uh, you know, it's 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 something that's going to be able to help. In fact, um, actually, later on, because I need to update my website, I need to go back and make uh, Cyberox software again, because apparently my web hosting, yeah, apparently I didn't log on to it enough, so they closed it down. So all that worked for nothing. Yeah, I was not happy. So I need to go back and redo that. But once I do, then a lot of stuff will become easier. So um, my next video will be coding in the emergency program. But it might be a little bit because I need to, actually after this video, I need to get started on working on all of my stuff back because I had a lot of my programs on there that I made that the people could download, you know. Uh, you know, I need to start working on Cyberox software, which is my other site. But again, I've been short, uh, short-manded uh, per se. Like I don't have enough people to actually work with me because all the people I do have either they can't connect to the internet because of certain deals, or they just yeah, they're not really reliable. So that's another thing, and it's just oh, it's not good. <laughs> Um, I have to go back to my other video, new video, uh, kind of explain what's all been going on, so. But anyways, uh, emergency, uh, programming. Again, that's something I came up with, but it'd be nice for people to know, you know. I think people need to know it. And what it is, it's not, it's not a code where you, like, code in a different type where it's, like, colon, you know, output, colon, lol. No, it's, it's nothing like that. It's not. It's not a different language, but it. it well, it's kind of hard to really describe because it's not a different language, but it is. It, it's it, there's there's one part that is sort of a different language, and there's one part where it's just navigational. Um, that's why I have Notepad and CMD up on the screen because Notepad. It's that's going to be our actual language, something that's going to be kind of different. And CMD is going to be the oh, I just said it too. It's going to be uh navigation basically. Um, but again, it's just because no pan and CMD are going to come hand in hand, so that way. Um, it, 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 it's easier to start from Notepad and go from Notepad to CMD because they connect. So, versus you go from CMD to Notepad, you can also do that, but it wouldn't be as effective in this series. But, uh, so, again, uh, it's just emergency programming. It's programming in, um, Notepad and Navigational and CMD because... Uh, a lot of the times, whenever you have a computer, if it crashes or some, if something is wrong, you, you know, you're gonna have to find a way to get to a certain place or delete something, or kind of go about the whole thing, and that's what Notepad 
than CMD can actually do. Uh, CMD preferably because whenever you have a problem with your computer, you can load up CMD, right? So that, that's also another good reason why CMD should also be loaded up in System 32 Windows, right? Because it's good. Or you can load it up in computer, but again, that's a total different. That's actually a couple of videos. Whenever I uh, progress into CMD, I'll teach you how to do that. But when it comes to Notepad, this is something I wanted to get down to and kind of explain. Uh, Notepad, whenever we start programming in it, it can be used for wrong purposes. Um, you can crash computer. Uh, I've done it with mine, and I was like, oh, I wonder what this does. Double click, and my computer. So, literally, it died um, <laughs> because I crashed it, and it's it, it's it basically what you're going to be learning in Notepad is batch uh, bat files, uh, BAT. Um, and the reason why we're going to be learning about that because you have to understand the basics before you can go to other stuff. Really. Um, I'm not saying you should know this before you start C++ or something like that, but it's kind of like Morse code. I know how to say SOS in Morse code, right? I think everybody should learn that because you never know. You could be trapped and, you know, do a little Morse code and you could wind up being fine. Um, again, it's good to learn the very, very, very basic. like. If you don't know math, learn it as far as adding and subtracting. That's the basic you have to know. Learn reading. You don't have to learn how to read the big words, but know how to do the little words. It, it comes down to the basics of life is needed to do stuff, per se. And, like, um, emergency programming is basically learning the basics of Notepad and CMD but also being utilized to make uh, a program that helps you throughout your whole computer. And I don't know why, I look like a politician, right? Except mine is this and this, you know? But, you know, we can work together. No, um, but... <laughs> work together. No, um, anyways, it, you know, basically, no patent CMD will help you utilize the skills in your mind to be like, okay, I need to get here but notepad's not letting me so let me do it in CMD I can't get to CMD manually so let me program a notepad to unlock CMD you know and through CMD you can do a lot you can notepad you can do a lot you know so it's just again getting down to the basics so yeah been on this video for eight minutes so uh, I think we can go ahead and start uh, basically Land down what all is needed, and that is, of course, Notepad and CMD, uh, right? But we're gonna go ahead and start a Notepad. So for the next couple of videos, um, until I bring up C or CMD, you won't really be needing it. But how to get to it? <coughs> uh, we could do it several different ways. Um, uh, I'm trying to. How, how can I do this? Um, yeah. All right. So what you do is basically go to computer, which I can do right here, right? And as you see, I am running really out of space, so it's interesting. Um, this is the long way around, but it works. Go to computer, go to Windows, and go into System 32, and then go all the way down, or go all the way until you go to the C's and then look for C M D right here. And go ahead and click on that or double click and C M D will pop up. Same thing for notepad. Again this is the long way around but it kinda gives you again the basics of where to find it no matter what. You know, so uh computer, Windows System thirty two and you can find just about anything and everything in there. So once you're in the ends, look for notepad and O. So let's keep looking. And E. And E. 
and I'll... Also, another thing, whenever it comes to System 32, don't mess with anything. <laughs> Not good to mess with stuff in there, because System 32 is your computer. If you delete the System32 file, which I do not recommend, but if you were to delete it, your computer would then become trash. It would not be worth anything at all because the System32 is gone. Uh, System32 where houses your Windows information, your Windows passwords, and stuff like that, you know, so it's just, it's something you don't want to mess with unless you're really knowledgeable in that, and later on in life I'll probably make a video about the system 32 as well but anyways once you're in system 32 go to N and look for notepad and here it is right here double click and brings up notepad you can also go to like start uh, run CMD start run notepad you know you can also go to accessories as well so that's how to get to those um, again the reason why I went the long way around is because you have to at least know where CMD notepad originate from which is system 32 you go computer windows system 32 and there you go and says again system 32 is the the file for your computer think of your computer as a big file system 32 would be that file so again it's best to stay away from all the other files do not delete anything um, again because if you delete one thing it could potentially mess up your whole computer so now that we finally found uh, Notepad and CMD, um, again, Notepad, everybody knows that you type stuff in there. That's what a lot of people uh, who don't have a mic, uh, they go, you know, they type in uh, on Notepad like, hello, YouTube, welcome to my video, right? But of course, it's in a bigger format and stuff like that, so you can actually read it and stuff, and like, uh, It'd probably go to like 28 format and see right here but uh, the reason why I'm bringing this up because I want you to go to font on your notepad and get it pre ready because we are going to probably need it around 14 yeah we're going to need it around 14 to get started so that's that and uh, uh, CMD what you can do is on CMD you can like right click on the top of it, the progress bar go to edit or properties per se and in here you can kind of just edit little things um, you know you can mess with the layout and colors and stuff like which is something I would not mind doing so let me go ahead and screen text red pop up Next, green, pop up background. Actually, no, I'll say it like that. Pop up background. Like as well. Okay, and there you go. I mean, this is just preference. You don't have to do anything, but it's just something to kind of get you in the mood to program per se. Um, again, I can't really necessarily say I don't condone it but it's something I, again I don't uh, I don't think it should be intended for other uses besides certain things again I'll explain later in fact I'll explain that in my next video which is about me so that way you'll kind of get a feeling for it and stuff like that um, so I lied it turns out we're not gonna get coding until the next video after the next video so again this just stuff to get you ready um, you can look up uh, uh, tutorials, how to use CMD and stuff like that, but again, we are going to be programming in emergency programming, so that's always cool, and it's best to get stuff ready and be knowledgeable, because again, you have to learn the basics, so and stuff like that. Uh, if you actually stayed long enough for this video, thank you, uh, because it's important to know and learn everything I'm saying because this will be used in our next video after the next video <laughs> alright well um I gotta get to start making the other video <laughs> so uh, thank you for watching this uh, as always uh, have a good day and God bless